The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Ashley and on today's broadcast we have this week's program spotlight. BBN News begins now. Happy early release Thursday, Broncos. Today is Thursday, October 17th, and if today is your birthday, you were born on National Pasta Day. You share a birthday with Eminem, and on this date back in history in 1777, British General John Bourguignon surrendered the Second Battle of Saratoga, which served as a turning point in the American Revolution. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Attention seniors, schedule your senior portraits today. Katie will be hosting one last road shoot on campus on November 21st. The only way for your photo to appear in the yearbook is to attend one of these road shoots or travel to a Katie studio. Register today at katie.com book. Attention seniors, it's time to pay your senior dues. Your senior dues include a yearbook, class shirt, lawn sign, pennant, and access to class events throughout the year. Your senior dues are now $145, but the price goes up again on November 1st. Get your senior dues in today. Attention seniors who have not met either the algebra or ELA graduation testing requirement will take the non-college reportable ACT on October 29th, 30th, and 31st. Polk State will be holding two open houses where you can meet staff, complete an application, and tour the campus. The Lakeland Campus Open House will take place on October 22nd from 5 until 7 p.m. and the Winter Haven Campus Open House will take place on October 29th from 5 until 7 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Brown in guidance. Attention seniors, do you need assistance using the Common App to apply to college? There will be a free Common Application workshop on Saturday from 9 a.m. until noon at Lake Region Senior High School. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Brown in guidance. Attention students, we have breaking news. The new date for the Enchanted Garden Homecoming Dance will take place on November 2nd at 7 p.m. Homecoming Week will now take place from October 28th until November 1st. On to this week's program spotlight where Musa takes a look at our Ag Department. Today we'll be taking a look into one of our more unique electives here at DHS known as agriculture. Let's see what the teacher has to say about it. Agriculture is basically like an umbrella of many career options that you can have ranging anywhere from plant production to animal production. Basically, where does our food come from and how can we produce it for ourselves? So in our class, we have something called a supervised agriculture experience and that is where students can learn hands-on industry practices in our classroom. So for a third of our classroom time, students can go outside, learn hands-on field in the industry, ranging anywhere from animal science to plant production. We really train students to become the next leaders of the agriculture industry. Some future goals for the program is to actually have livestock animals on campus. We are slowly working on it, but eventually our goal is to have some, maybe start off with small livestock animals like goats or sheep, and then progress into larger livestock animals like beef cattle. Now let's hear from some of the students. I'm our chapter's president, so I'm basically in charge of everything ag related. Um, I run all of our meetings, I keep everybody in line. Some of our competitions are exempt and prepared speaking. We have floriculture, we have food science, we have par pro, um, we have tractor driving for people who want to learn how to drive tractors. For example, we learn how to give vaccines, look at animals, plants. If you have a garden when you're older, you can properly determine exactly what's wrong with it. You can uh, examine land better. There's many different types of things and you can, vegetables. We learn about vegetables in class. We learn about many different types of flowers, many different types of animals. It prepares you for so many things you don't typically learn. Um, I have been in agriculture for more than five years now, so I really enjoy it. And this year we have a really nice teacher, so we are involved in a lot more than we have been in previous years. Um, events are really fun. We have meetings every other week on Tuesdays, and we always get together, we have food, and we go over like our SE projects and prepare for CDs. Signing off from BBN News, Musa Hyatt. Today's ACT word of the day is to deplete, meaning to overuse over time so that resources become scarce. Mr. Shigeris was so upset that his sons quickly depleted their hurricane snacks before the storm even arrived last week. The DHS Theater Department proudly presents Puffs on November 21st and 22nd. Get your tickets today by scanning the QR code on your screen. Broncos, please remember the first quarter ends today and there is no school tomorrow. If your teachers are still accepting work and you have any outstanding assignments, please make sure you take care of them. Attention seniors, there is still time to order your cap and gowns. Please go to hairofjones.com for ordering information. 
on to Bronco Sports. The boys football team will host the Forest Wildcats tomorrow. Kickoff is at 7.30. Boys and girls soccer trials will occur on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 4 until 6 p.m. over at NERP, the Northeastern Regional Park. All athletes need to be cleared and activated to try out. If you have any questions about the boys soccer, please see Coach Pablo in room 334F. For any questions about girls soccer, please see Coach Bonilla. Fall softball will begin on Tuesday from 2.30 until 4.30. Please report to the girls' locker room right after school. If you have any questions, please see Coach Cook. Attention Lady Broncos who are interested in joining the girls' weightlifting team. There will be an interest meeting on Monday in the Broncateria at 2.30. If you have any questions, please email Coach Hannon at heather.hannon at polk-fl.net. Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Ashley. Have a great day, Broncos.